Dion John Claffey will be heading to jail for three years after pleading guilty to the sexual assault of a 13-year-old Swift Current girl between April and May of last year. The victim of this crime cannot be named to protect her identity in the case. At the time of the assault, Claffey was under release documents for a different sexual assault he had committed in Manitoba. This fact adding even more depth to an already major crime. The seriousness of it was because of the vast age difference between the parties here. He's, he was 23 years of age at the time this happened and the uh, young girl was only 13. And so he managed to sort of uh, inveigle himself into that situation, if I can put it that way, and convince her that uh, having sexual intercourse would be a good idea and unfortunately did so on two occasions. Claffey left the Swift Current area shortly after the crime had occurred. But the incident itself soon came to the attention of local police. The young girl who was uh, just a grade 8 student here in town uh, essentially was being bothered of course by the situation and eventually disclosed it at a, uh, I think she went to a church camp of some sort and she then uh, disclosed the incident I believe to a, to a pastor at that particular location and then ultimately came to the police. Claffey was brought back to Swift Current in December, but the length of the sentence that he was given this week was affected by a number of other charges in areas other than Swift Current. He was charged with breaching his uh, some of the previous sentencing he'd been on in Manitoba, and then also with some additional offenses in Saskatoon. I believe there was a common assault and a, and a couple of other breaches of his undertaking. So he ended up getting about a six-month sentence in Saskatoon on December 10th and of course Saskatoon was made aware that we were looking for him as well and then as a result of that the RCMP arranged to bring him here to face our allegations. Taking into consideration that the age of consent was recently changed to 16, a three-year sentence for the assault of a 13-year-old was deemed to be a very appropriate sentence. Claffey will most likely serve his sentence at a federal prison and along with other orders he will be required to undergo rehabilitation for sexual offenders. For Southwest TV News, I'm Kara Rapke.